Hi guys, welcome to Pencil College. In this video, we'll be moving on to chapter 4.1 on polynomials. So here are the lesson objectives. We will learn how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide polynomials. And uh, just a quick introduction because the term polynomial is something very new to most of us. So polynomial over here. Okay, and what does it mean? A polynomial is the variable x, sorry, a polynomial in the variable x involves a sum of terms, each of the form ax to the power of n. So, for example, if I have a quadratic polynomial, so the general form of a quadratic polynomial will be in this form, fx equals to ax squared plus bx plus c, okay, where a, B, and C are constants. So let me just highlight this. A is a constant. So A, B, and C are constants. And N is a non-negative integer. Okay, so if this is still a little too abstract for you, let me put in some numbers so it looks a little bit you know, easier to understand. So for example, 2x squared plus 5x plus 7 is a polynomial. And in fact, this is a quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial okay and uh, let's give an example of a cubic polynomial so for example gx okay and uh, if you're wondering what is gx or and fx they are just functions of x okay so gx you know let's say gx is a cubic polynomial then gx can be written in this form ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d Okay, so if we were to fill in numerical values for A, B, C, and D, then we will have a more tangible form of a cubic polynomial. So for example, let's say we have 7x cubed plus 2x squared plus 5x plus 1. Okay, this is just a cubic polynomial. Okay, so I hope these are some simple examples to just, you know, kickstart this chapter. Later, we'll look at more tangible examples. Okay, so just bear with me for now. Next, the degree of a polynomial, okay, sorry, I uh, missed out the previous one. In the term ax to the power of n, a is the coefficient of x to the power of n. So what is the meaning of the word coefficient? So let's say, okay, so let's say, okay, let me just... Uh, Go back to this so the term coefficient okay so let's say we have a polynomial 2x square plus uh, plus 7x plus 5 okay maybe I'll use maybe I'll use 3 instead okay so if I were to ask what is the coefficient okay so let me just write it down what is the coefficient of x then I'm simply asking for the term that is in front of x so can you see that the number 7 is right in front of x so therefore my answer is just 7 okay so what is the coefficient how about what is the coefficient of x square okay so we're just looking for the number in front of x square and uh, the number in front of x square is just three okay and therefore the coefficient of x square is just three that's it okay so that that's the meaning of the word of or rather of the term coefficient okay let's move on to explore our next uh, terminology over here the degree of a polynomial is the degree of a polynomial is the highest power of x. So the degree of a polynomial is the highest power of x. So suppose we have this polynomial over here. So let's say we have 2x cubed plus 7x plus sorry plus 7x squared plus 5x plus 1 for example then the degree of the polynomial is the highest 
is the highest power of x. And which is our highest power? It is just x cube. And the highest power, in fact, okay, if I you know put it in a more obvious way, the highest power should just be 3. Okay, therefore the degree, the degree of the polynomial. So let's call this polynomial fx for example. So the degree of fx is 3. Okay, so one more example over here. Let's say I let gx equals to 2x power 4 plus 7x plus 4, for example. Okay, maybe I'll probably not use 4, so they won't repeat too many numbers over here. Maybe I'll use, just use uh, 5, okay, plus 5. Then the degree, the degree of gx is just the highest power of x and in this case the highest power of x is 4 okay so therefore the degree of gx is 4 okay and lastly the value of a polynomial px at x equals to a is pa so the value of px at x equals to a is PA. So this looks kind of uh, tough to digest at first. So let's use a very simple example. So let's say I have a polynomial. Let's uh, call it PA since we're using PA. So P, sorry, PX. So let's say PX equals to 5X squared plus 2X plus 7, for example. Then if I want the value, so the value of px at x equals to 1, for example, okay, is p1, p of 1, okay. So take note that now, in this case, I've substituted x equals to 1, sorry, a equals to 1, so a, a is over here, 1. And I'm just going to substitute this value into this polynomial, so it's 5, 1 square plus 2 times 1 plus 7. Okay, and simplifying this with the help of a calculator, I'll just arrive at 14. Okay, so if you're still a little confused as to how I did the substitution, don't worry, we have many more examples ahead, okay, with more, uh, you know, tangible values, and that will help increase your understanding. Okay, so without further ado, let's go straight to example number 1. So if px equals to x squared plus 2x minus 1 and qx equals to 3x minus 4, find px plus qx. Okay, so this is a really nice and simple example to start with. So px plus qx, okay, is just px, which is x squared plus 2x minus 1 plus qx, which is 3x minus 4. And uh, simplifying this, I'll just have x squared plus 5x minus 5. That's it for example 1a. So next one, let's look at, let's try px minus qx. Okay, so as you can see, we're subtracting two polynomials and uh, we're subtracting, in fact, qx from px. So px will be this minus qx. So don't forget to keep qx in brackets. Okay, this is very important. Then let us now open up the brackets. And uh, simplify a little bit more. And there you have it. This is px minus qx. Okay, so this is uh, nice and easy okay, to, to begin the chapter. We'll look at more examples in the next video. And uh, for more videos, please log on to pentocollege.com. I'll see ya.